So we've been going through all of the PowerShell commandlets, you know, and ways to manage a core server in Python. We can do all that without a GUI. You know, um, we can list the local directory contents and we can get share information, all of that using PowerShell. But what if we wanted to manage uh, file shares and folders on our core server with a GUI? Well, we can do that if we go to our 2019 or our Windows 10 management workstation. So on my Windows 10 management workstation, I'm going to right click on the Windows icon. I'm going to select Run. And I'm going to open a Microsoft Management Console or MMC. OK. I'm going to go to File, Add, Remove, Snap In. And I'm going to go down to Shares, Shared Folders is what I want to add. And instead of Local Computer, I want to select another computer. I'll click Browse, make sure my domain is selected. And Mail 2019 Core-01. So notice I'm selecting, in this case, uh, not my local computer, but in this case, my core file server in the snap-in, and then I'll click OK. And then I might save this to my desktop. Um, and what will we call it? Um, mail 2019 core 01 shares, or some such thing, right? So here it is on my desktop, and I can open it again. But So if I spread this out, notice, you know, this, this is the it's not my local Windows 10 workstation. This is my core file server. And if I come over here, let me pull this pane back over here and pull this out and this out a little bit. Okay. And so here is here are the shares and the path to the shares of what we have previously created in PowerShell. So accounting, silent intelligence assets, sequestrated citizenship documents, sequestrated data, hidden leaf jujitsu secrets, one piece treasure maps, and research and development. And I also have some other things here like open sessions and you know Starbucks, she's logged in. Um, any open files and things that she might be utilizing or using, but let's say that I wanted to manage a share that already exists. I can right click on it. I can go to properties. I can look at share permissions. I could add a um, particular group if I wanted to. Here, we'll do this. And we can actually browse users and groups in my domain. OK. So anybody that I wanted to add to that share, I, I could. I can change the permissions if I wanted to. Um, I can go over to security, and I can add groups and users to the DACL and adjust the permissions that way. Um, I can go over here, and do advanced permissions, change ownership, all the things that we did in Posh and PowerShell, we can do here with the GUI on our management workstation. And you can add this snap in in an MMC either on a Windows 10 management workstation or say a server 2019 management workstation. Whatever, you know, you've, you've got a GUI there. So let's say I wanted to create a new share. I'm going to go over here, click on New Share. And I'm going to go through the wizard here next, the folder path. And from the root level, I don't want that to be a semicolon. From the root level, let's see, what are we going to call this? Um, um, Imperial forces, forces would be the name of her. All right, so uh, on this computer, on mail 2019 core-01, we're going to create imperial forces. I'll click next. Cannot find the path specified, in this case, the root share. Remember, just like we did in PowerShell, so yes, I'm going to create it. Imperial forces, here is the share path. And description, um, 
Death Star plans. That's what we'll put in there, right? That'll be our Death Star plans. And I could change the off uh, line setting if I want, but I'm just going to go with a simple share here. Next. Now, set the kind of permissions you want for the shared folder. I can create it and do this later. If I gave all users read only access, uh, administrators have full, users have read only, or we could customize the permissions right here if we want to. So I'm going to remove everyone. I'm going to add domain users, get read permission, and I'm going to add, I'm going to add, let's see. Starts with is exactly we'll just go with these show me these shares here. Alright. There, we'll add all those guys there. And any of these that are read white, right, we'll give everything. Just Creating a good old heap of permission spaghetti here for us all. <laughs> all right, so we could do that, and we could go over here security-wise, right? And we could add our groups here, security-wise. Um, and these are all groups we created with PowerShell. But let's see, we, we're going to add all of our share read and write groups, and we'll add some read only to all right and the read only gets only read access but the read write they're going to get modify modify read only and um that was read write so we'll give them modify and that was read only so read okay all right, so we set our custom permissions. Um, and then if I wanted to create another folder, I could tick that option, but I don't, so I won't. All right, so we did that. And now look, here's Imperial Forces. And if I right click and go to properties, here's all my share permissions. And here are my security permissions. And remember, it's always the most restrictive when you combine. When, when you combine share level permission and security permission, if I had, you know, full control permission over here, you know, because I'm a member of, of share one piece treasure maps read, right? Well, that doesn't matter if I only, if I have read only, if that group has read only at the NTFS file level, even though I have full control here, I have the least restrictive, or, I mean, excuse me, I have the most restrictive combination. So, even though I have full here, if I have read only here, I just have read only. Likewise, if I had modifier full control here, but I only had read permission here at the share level, it's the most restrictive combination. If I can not reverse that when I say it, but <laughs> it's, you know, it's the most restrictive. So in other words, to, to, to have full control or, or writable permission, I'd have to have both a writable permission at the share level and at the NTFS, uh, you know, DACL or security level. Remember that. Okay, so just a way to graphically manage uh, folders and, and files and things, right? Um, using a snap-in, so we can create shares and we can create directories that way. And if I hop over to the server, we can see that. So I'm just going to list the directory contents, but. See, here it is, Imperial Forces. And if I get some share data, here's all of the entries. And I would never do it this way. Um, you know, in, in a production environment, you'd want to use this. It, it makes Active Directory more efficient if you can configure things to use fewer ACEs, access control entries on the DACL. So this is just an example but I'd want to actually use an inheritance hierarchy. We might do a separate video on that one day, but right now we're just, we're looking at basic file access. So back over to our, our Windows 10 Management Workstation. Okay, so that's one way. 
and we can do new shares and if I had open files that would show up in sessions and you know I have access to all of these settings here um, let's look at another way and I'll save my console settings here. let's look at another way using WAC Windows Admin Center At this point, for a core file server, I'd probably say that the management console is a much more powerful or convenient way to manage things if you want to use a GUI and you you know you don't you don't want to necessarily get into PowerShell. But uh, Windows Admin Center is coming along nicely, and uh, it's, it's it's definitely getting better and more robust. And there is a graphical file tool. So I've opened up my mail one, uh, my mail, not mail one, my mail 2019 core-01 server. And I'm going to go down here to files, okay? So once I've connected to my server in Windows Admin Center, okay? And look. Here's all my folders, and I'm gonna let's make some screen real estate here. All right, there. So I'm in the file section. So here I am. This is the root of my drive. Okay, and you can see, and you can see the contents of that folder. Okay. And let me go over here to more. And I can download. So it's, it's a web interface, but you know, if I wanted to download a copy of that, in this case, I don't have permission. Access to nine. <laughs> I don't have permission of that DACL, but it's because we locked that sucker down when we were going over uh, access control entries in PowerShell. All right, so sleeper agents. Uh, let's go to Imperial Forces. And more, let's see what we can do here. Let's look at properties. All right, let's, let's create a new folder right here and Palpatine's personal five-year plan. That's what we will call this folder. Okay. And so here's a subdirectory, you know, or a subfolder inside of. Let me see if I can pull that out just a little bit. And it's a type folder. Okay, there. All right, and I'm gonna make a file real quick. Palpatine's five-year plan. One. So one, destroy all the Jedi, two, expand evil empire, three, crush the resistance, spread evil and mayhem throughout the galaxy. All right, so this is, this is Palpatine's five-year plan. Okay, so I have a text file here, and let's go back to up Windows at Men Center, and I'm going to go inside the folder 
Palpatine's five-year plan. I'm going to go upload. And I'm going to select Palpatine's five-year plan. Okay. Yeah. In this case, I successfully uploaded the file. So let's get this to refresh. All right. And there you can see the file. There's Palpatine's five-year plan. And I'm going to select this and download. And where do I want to save it? I'll save it in downloads. Okay, finish downloading. Successfully downloaded. All right, so we did have permission there. And here, downloads and Palpatine's five year plan. Destroy all the Jedi, expand evil empire, crush the resistance, spread evil and mayhem throughout the galaxy. So it's a web based interface, but you can do a lot of the same things that you do with the MMC snap in here with this, you know, file manager part of Windows Admin Center. Um, you know, it's, it's not quite as powerful in, you know, the in terms of the features, but there's a lot of features there. I can get properties on an object, so properties on this text file. Um, you know, I don't really have much as far as setting the share level permission or the DACL permissions yet, but you know, that that functionality is, is being ex expanded. Okay, I could cut, copy, delete, uh, rename. If I wanted to rename, rename a file. I could I could do that. So just to sort of give you an idea of two different GUI or graphical ways that you could manage a core file server that has no GUI.